If you do any sort of graphic design on your Mac, maybe you're a professional graphic designer or maybe you just do the odd ad hoc, ad hoc image perhaps for a social media uh, header image or things like that, uh, then whatever the case, if you do deal with on-screen graphics, then uh, this video is for you. Hello and welcome to Take One Tech, my name's Alec and this video is part of a series of videos I'm doing this week all about uh, the great little utility apps that you can get as part of the setup app bundle uh, and this one is specifically focused on graphics so setup is basically a monthly subscription uh, to over 200 great apps so I'll talk about that a little bit more at the end but before I do let me tell you about this app shall I it's an app called Pixel Snap and uh, it's probably easier if I just demonstrate exactly what it does. So I'll come over to my screen sharing for a moment and it is a little app that sits up in your menu bar just up here and then you activate it with a hotkey or obviously you can link this to your stream deck. You know how much I love my stream deck. <laughs> And when you activate it, it simply puts on a set of guides on the screen, as you can see. And uh, so here you can see these red lines, uh, horizontal and vertical line. And what you can see is it's telling me that this uh, particular element on screen where I'm measuring is one, uh, 1263 pixels wide by 131 pixels tall. And as you scroll around, you can see that these numbers change. So this is great for taking measurements. So in a previous uh, uh, role. I was a web designer and uh, often used tools like this to uh, measure these on-screen elements and just make sure everything was aligned up and looking as it should. Uh, and the other great thing that you can do with this is if I actually press uh, this hotkey here so I can lock in some of these uh, dimensions. So I can press uh, command H hopefully one second, <laughs> he says. Uh, there we go. I can change this to a horizontal ruler and then I can put another horizontal ruler above there and then I can change uh, back to the standard uh, uh, type and then I can also, if I press the uh, V, then it will lock that particular measurement. So I can take measurements all over here and uh, maybe I want to measure this distance up here. <laughs> so you can basically take measurements all over the screen of key elements. So that is vertical. I can obviously also measure uh, horizontal elements, measure the distance between different things, measure the size of uh, different elements like that. Uh, you can also change it to a slightly different mode. So you get a crosshair mode as well. Uh, and then also what you can do is if you are at a particular location, you can use the left and right and up and down arrow keys to go for fine uh, adjustment. If you really want to get the position, say you were hovering over here and you wanted to get the position exactly right on some specific element, then you can do fine uh, control, as I say, using those arrows. You can also, uh, if you hold down shift, you can move by 10 pixels at a time like that. Uh, and that's also how you activate those uh, those sort of total crosshairs so that you can take measurements on the screen like that as well. So if I wanted to know the size of this element, I could simply come down here and align with the bottom corner and then I could drag it up to the corner. So there I've now got a box and it's telling me exactly how big that on-screen element is. So now you've taken all of these measurements of uh, things on the screen. Maybe I want to know how big this button is as well. So I could press that again, hold down the uh, shift and then I'm just now highlighting this button so I can see how big that is. So if I wanted to replace uh, that button with another image uh, and I needed to design it, then I would know how big that needs to be. Uh, but now the thing is, well, we want to uh, actually capture that, don't we? Well, the great thing is it's got screenshots built in. So you can obviously do screenshots on the Mac, uh, but this one allows you to just basically capture all of these elements because just to give you an idea of how this is working, you'll notice that although I'm moving my crosshairs around, there is actually a mouse pointer on the screen. And that's where my mouse pointer was at the point when I activated it. Because what this has actually done is it's taken a snapshot of the screen at that particular time. Uh, so that it's basically now a static image that we're measuring everything from. And if I just press uh, Command uh, Shift like this, then it will, uh, I can come down here and take a screenshot like that, or I can just press S and it'll take a full screen screenshot. And now if I uh, come out of this, first of all, I can clear all of these things now. So I'll come up to the, uh, sorry, deactivate it first <laughs> and then come up here. I can just go clear all and it will clear all of those different things out of the way. Uh, but now we'll see that uh, just as with Mac snapshots, it saves it to the desktop or wherever you've got it set to, this will do the same. Uh, but now we've got a pixel snap uh, 
screenshot and there you go we've now got a fully captured uh, image of that desktop with all of those little things on now if this is something that you can't see the use for then it's not for you but if you are a graphic designer uh, you will know how useful that this can be because uh, many a time I've taken dimensions for things off websites and whatever and it's hard to have them persistent on the screen uh, and still take a screenshot so there are other applications out there that you can do measurements like this for and I've used a number of them for uh, decades <laughs> well a couple at least um, but this one is just uh, yeah really good the way you can take these measurements and take the screenshot built in so a bit of a niche one this one is uh, but I just thought it was worth uh, worth mentioning to those of you that do do uh, graphics works on your Mac uh, as I say, this is part of the uh, Setup app bundle. So if you're not familiar that, with that, that is a bundle of over 200 apps and you just pay one monthly fee of uh, $9.99. And if you go to takeonetech.io slash setup, S-E-T-A-P-P, then you can get a two-week free trial where you can download the Setup app and then with, from within there, you can download all of the other apps just like this, this one that I've shown you today. And then you can try them all out for two weeks and decide whether you like the apps and whether you like the idea of setup. If you use my link, then uh, if you do go on to sign up to the subscription after the two week trial has expired, uh, then you will get a free month by using my link. And just full disclosure, I will also get a free month added onto my subscription as well. But as I've said in all of my other videos about setup, it's really not so much about setup, it's about all of the hugely powerful apps that you can get uh, along with it. And I do recommend them all because they're apps that I use all the time as well. So I hope you found that useful. And as ever, if you have, don't forget that like button. It really does help me out. And it also helps me to know that I'm doing things uh, in the right way or at least heading in the right direction. If there's ever anything that I could be doing better or you think that I should be covering in more depth or if I haven't gone into apps in more depth, then do leave the uh, notes in the comments uh, or contact me through my website, takeonetech.io. Uh, I'm always open to receiving messages and comments and feedback, uh, good or bad. And I... Uh, yeah, we'll always take that in the spirit in which it's intended and we'll hopefully look to be trying to improve the channel as we go on. So with that said, uh, there's no need to go anywhere just yet because we have got more great videos coming up next and I'll leave a link to that set app playlist uh, with all the other set app apps I'm covering over there on the bottom right. So until the next one, have a great day.